Well, I'm 15 years old, Mr. Hogg, and I don't need talking points or a little teleprompter behind my CNN interview screen to get my point across. I'm backed up by statistics and facts. You are backed up by falsities and lies. Mr. Hogg, my dad publicly invited you to come on his show and debate him. You shied away and crawled back under your rock. I, Rex Jones, would like to publicly challenge you to debate me. Name the time, name the place, name the venue. I will do it. Hello, Mr. Hogg. My name is Rex Jones, and I want to make a public statement about you claiming to speak for my generation about guns. If you listen real close, you can hear the people in power shaking. They've gotten used to being protective of their position, chewing safety, the safety of inaction. Inaction is no longer safe. And to that we say, no more. Hog, you claim that the establishment is shaking in its boots in fear of you. No, they love you. They love gun control. They've wanted this for years. If I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. Here's the legislation that you supported in Georgia, uh, the, the last assault weapons ban Democrats in your state push, and I'm quoting mm -hmm. from the legislation right here. The yeah. Georgia Bureau of Investigations shall seize and take possession, possession of any assault weapon, large capacity magazine, armor piercer bullet, or incendiary 50 caliber bullet. Shall seize and take possession of. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. You've heard people say, you'll have to pry my gun from my cold dead hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is admitted that they want to disarm the American people, just as they have done with so many corrupt regimes in the past. Hitler, Stalin, Mao, North Korea. Do you think those places, do you think those corrupt leaders allowed their citizens to have guns? Do you think that the Jews were able to protect themselves when Hitler put them in concentration camps? No, they were disarmed, and that's why they were enslaved. Hog, you're a public figure, and you call my dad a piece of SHI you-know-what, and you say all kinds of other horrible things. You've challenged him to a debate and then backed out of it. The fact is, you and your fellow students have been handpicked by the mainstream media to misrepresent the American people and make it look like the average young American teen wants to have their First and Second Amendment taken away. Many people in your name, such as CNN, have called for my father to be banned off YouTube and claim that it's bullying to say that it's authoritarianism to repeal the Second Amendment. Mainstream media uses you as a child human shield so that you can go out and make outrageous statements without anyone being allowed to rebut you without being labeled a bully. The truth is, Mr. Hogg, that George Soros and the groups funding your anti-gun march are a clear and present danger to this country and draw clear parallels to Nazi Germany and the authoritarian regimes of the past. Well, David Hogg, here we are. We're at the Peace Officers Memorial in downtown Austin. These brave men and women took an oath to uphold the Constitution. The sheriff in your state did too, but he didn't protect y'all. He stayed outside while the massacre happened. And you like to blame that on guns? I say we shouldn't blame that on guns. We should blame that on the sheriff that failed to act. But no, you make apologies for him. You said that going down a barrel of an AR-15 is dangerous and you understood why he was scared. Going down the barrel of an AR-15 is that man's job. And for you to make apologies for him is absolutely disgusting. The veterans who died in the Revolutionary War and in the War of 1812. They died to protect this country from the British. They died to protect their civil rights in World War II and World War I. American soldiers went across the globe to protect our freedoms. You say that those freedoms are obsolete, that no one needs a weapon of war. Were you taught in school, David Hogg, about how our country was founded? Were you taught in school that at Lexington and Concord, the British came for our firearms and our weapons, and we said no, and we defended our country with all of our might and strength. And that's how we became the most free, the most prosperous, and the most successful nation on earth to the date. Do you know how that happened? Brave men and women, like the men and women behind me, stood up and they said, no, we will not submit to tyranny. And that is what you were doing. You were submitting to tyranny. You are begging to have the rights that our forefathers fought for stripped away. You say, yes, please take my rights. I say, no, you're not going to take my rights. Well, I'm 15 years old, Mr. Hogg, 
and I don't need talking points or a little teleprompter behind my CNN interview screen to get my point across. I'm backed up by statistics and facts. You are backed up by falsities and lies. Mr. Hogg, my dad publicly invited you to come on his show and debate him. You shied away and crawled back under your rock. I, Rex Jones, would like to publicly challenge you to debate me. Name the time, name the place, name the venue. I will do it. The end of that video, he advertises water filters. Interesting.